Welcome to the January 2022 virtual public meeting for Moving Together 2050. This virtual meeting will cover the following topics. What is Moving Together 2050? The planning process for Moving Together 2050 and how you can provide input for the planning process. This meeting will last approximately 15 minutes. So what is Moving Together 2050? Moving Together 2050 is the regional transportation plan for the Mid-South region. This plan is sometimes referred to as the Long Range Transportation Plan. Moving Together 2050 covers multiple cities and counties in the Mid-South region. It covers all of Shelby County, Tennessee, all of DeSoto County, Mississippi, as well as portions of Fayette County, Tennessee, and Marshall County, Mississippi. The plan also involves coordination with the West Memphis area in Arkansas. Having a regional transportation plan like Moving Together 2050 is a federal requirement for all urban areas with at least 50,000 people. This plan must be data-driven and performance-based, and it must be updated every four years. The plan identifies existing and future needs for all modes of transportation. That means it's evaluating roads and bridges, biking, walking, public transit, freight, and access to airports. Federal legislation also requires that this be a fiscally constrained plan, meaning that the cost of recommendations cannot exceed anticipated funding levels. Because this is a long-range transportation plan, it is looking at the needs of today and tomorrow. The plan has a 20-plus year planning horizon. This means that the plan will consider the potential impacts of growth and development, new technology and mobility options, and changing demographics and travel patterns over the next 20 plus years. It will also consider the air quality impacts of projects. You may be asking, why does Moving Together 2050 really matter? Well, it matters because any major transportation project must be included in a regional transportation plan to receive federal funding. Once a project is included in this plan, it can be added to the Memphis MPO's Transportation Improvement Program, or TIP. The TIP allocates federal funding for projects in the region over the next four years, and it is the first step in actually implementing federally funded transportation projects. Once a project is in the TIP, it is up to project sponsors, such as the State Department of Transportation or local government, to implement the project. Now that you know what Moving Together 2050 is all about, let's talk about the planning process. The planning process for Moving Together 2050 has just begun and will last for approximately two years. There are five distinct phases and public input will occur during three of these phases. We are currently in the first phase of the planning process called visioning. In this phase, we are updating regional transportation goals and ideas based on community input. At the same time, we have already begun the second phase of the planning process called needs assessment, where we conduct a technical analysis to help identify existing and future transportation needs in the region. This summer, we will use the results of these first two phases to identify specific strategies and projects that help achieve the regional transportation goals. After that, we will develop a financial plan that identifies which projects can realistically be funded over the next 20 plus years, and which may only be funded if additional funding becomes available. Finally, we will develop a draft plan for public comment and finalize this plan with key stakeholders. The following slides will share some of our initial findings from the needs assessment phase of the planning process. The maps on this slide show current demand for the region's major roadways. The map on the left shows the demand for freight trucks is mostly along interstates and major highways. The map on the right shows areas of high congestion, which again are mostly along interstates and major highways. There are various strategies used throughout the region to mitigate congestion. This slide highlights some of the strategies currently being used in the region. For example, the Tennessee Department of Transportation, TDOT, implemented a help truck to assist abandoned vehicles on highways. At the same time, investments have been made into the signal systems 
in both Tennessee and Mississippi to improve traffic flow along major corridors. When we looked at infrastructure conditions, we evaluated the region's bridge and pavement conditions. Overall, 76% of pavement is in good condition for interstates, while only 18% is in good condition for other major roadways. For bridges, 94% of major bridges are in good or fair condition. For safety, the map on this slide shows the concentration of crashes in the region over the last five years. On average, the region experiences approximately 205 fatalities and 1,070 serious injuries per year from crashes. Data analysis shows that more than 50% of these crashes are from angle or rear end collisions. For public transit, you may think that MATA is the only transit provider in the region. However, there are three other providers in the region and they provide demand response transit. Delta HRA provides transit service on the Tennessee side and DARTS and NMCS provide transit service on the Mississippi side. Approximately 5.3 million transit trips are served by these providers each year. In addition to these transit services, MATA has recently implemented two new on-demand transit services. One is called Ready and the other is called Groove On Demand. For these new services, riders can call in or use an app to request a ride. The pie chart on this slide shows census data for the region, which indicates that most people commute to work by driving alone. Beyond driving alone, carpooling is the next most popular way of commuting to work. Even though walking and biking percentages are lower, we have noticed an increase in these forms of transportation based on traffic counts from the last few years especially at Harriham Bridge and Shelby Farms Green Line. The region also has a bike share program, which has seen an increase in usage, especially in the last few years. Beyond biking and walking, the ride share program managed by Shelby County provides services related to carpooling and van pooling. Now you have heard about the planning process for moving together 2050 and about some existing conditions in the region. Let's talk about how you can share your input and help shape the development of the plan. As part of the first phase of the planning process, we want to hear from you about your priorities and needs. To share your input, please complete a short online survey. The survey can be completed by smartphone, tablet, or computer. We plan to end this phase of public input on January 31st, so please provide your input before then. To complete the online survey, go to www.memphismpo.org. If you go to www.memphismpo.org, a pop-up should appear on your screen. At the bottom of the pop-up, there's a button that takes you to the survey. You can click on this button. Alternatively, you can find the RTP webpage on the MPO homepage. This can be found under the homepage banner as shown in the lower left corner of this screen. Once you go to the project webpage, there are two links for the survey. Click on one of the options to complete the survey. Once you click the link for the survey, you should see the interactive survey as shown on the slide. This interactive survey is meant to be quick and easy. It consists of five slides or screens and can be completed in five minutes or less. Let's take a moment to walk through the survey. When you first load the survey, you can close the welcome message by clicking the check mark or X button in the corner of the welcome prompt. Now you should see the welcome screen that provides some information about the plan. For each screen, you can click on the information icon at the top or the next icon at the top. Information will provide the welcome message for each screen and the next icon will advance the slide. To toggle in between screens or slides, you can click on the tab for each one. So to go back to the welcome, just click the welcome tab. Once you've read the information on the welcome screen, you can hit next to advance to the second screen.
The second screen is all about priorities. We want to know what goals are most important to you. Please rank your top three transportation goals for the Mid-South region by dragging the items above the dashed line in your preferred order. Once you have them in the order you want, you can advance to the next screen. You can click on each item or goal to learn more information about each one. So take a moment, familiarize yourself with the goal items, and then begin dragging your top three items above the dashed line, with your most important being at the top. Once you've done that, you can click the next button to advance to the next screen. For the third screen, we want to know what one big idea you have for improving transportation in the Mid-South region. For this screen, just type your response in the box, click Submit, and then click Advance or Next to advance the slide to the next screen. So here you can type in your big idea in the white box, click the submit button, and then click the next button. For the fourth screen, we want to know what areas or specific areas need transportation improvement. For this screen, drop the map markers from the top of the screen onto the map by clicking and dragging them. Once you've dropped them, drop the marker, let us know what type of improvement by selecting an option from the drop-down menu and providing a short description. For map markers, try to stay within the Memphis MPO area, which is shown in black. You can zoom in and zoom out using the zoom feature on the map. To drop a marker, click it, hold it, and drag it onto the map at the location you want. Once you drop it, a prompt will come up asking you what type of improvement, and you can select from the options provided. Here we select intersection or signal. We also ask that you give a comment if you can. Here we're talking about an interchange, so we want to say improve interchange design. And then you hit submit to submit the map marker. And that's it. You can submit as many map markers as you like, and you have five options. If one of your ideas does not fall into one of those five categories, there's also an other option at the top. So let's drop another marker for that other option. Dropping this one is a little different. All you need to do is just provide a comment. Here, if we comment about the driveways on this road, we can just enter that comment and click Submit. And we've entered our second map marker. If, for whatever reason, you want to delete a comment or a map marker, you can hit the trash can icon to do so. Once you've dropped all the mar map markers you want on the screen, hit Next to advance to the final screen. For the final screen, we have a few final questions to help us ensure that we're reaching all types of people. You can answer these questions by typing or selecting from a drop-down menu. Once you've answered all of these questions, Hit the Finish button to complete the survey. The first question is for zip code. This is about your home zip code, so enter your five-digit home zip code. For the second question, pick your age category. For the third question, let us know how you typically travel. Then, how did you hear about the survey? If you want to stay involved and become aware of future input opportunities, provide your email address. And finally, if you have any last thoughts that you want to share with us, you can enter them in, in this open-ended comment box at the end. Once you've answered that question, you can hit the Finish button, and that's it. You've completed the survey. The wrap-up screen also has a few buttons. So the first button is for the project website, and then there are buttons from social media that you can share the survey with your friends and followers. And that's it for the survey. To learn more about Moving Together 2050, visit www.memphismpo.org and look for the RTP webpage. 
This concludes the virtual meeting. Thank you for taking the time to learn about Moving Together 2050. We appreciate your involvement and look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.